Okay, so now we're going to hook up the left motor. To do that, we're going to need the Fritzing diagram, the Arduino sketch, your USB cable, your partially assembled robot, these wires, which are the long blue, white, and orange, not the short ones, the long ones, because they need to reach from here to the far side of this black thing right here, this uh, motor controller. You'll need the longest black wire, two short black wires, and a short red wire. And then we are, so now we're going to hook up the wiring. We're going to take these two wires, the yellow and the green from the motor, and stick them through here. And then pull until they come all the way through, and maybe have to push from the underside. And then we're going to hook up, just like the fritzing diagram says, um, to get to this fritzing diagram, go to File, Open, and then go to your challenge bot build stages, D left motor, left motor dot FZZ, and that'll be this diagram here. And uh, as you can see, the yellow wire comes down and goes to one, two, three pins in. So I'll do that here. And that's pin so number 22. 20, 20, 21, 22. That's three pins in. Yes. Thank you, Aaron. And then the green wire goes two more pins after that, so 25. So 22, 23, 24, 25, and I'll push that in. Now I'm gonna hook up the ground. This long black wire is for a connecting the grounds to each other. So the ground rail on the far side of the uh, breadboard to the closer side of the breadboard. If I can do this, yes I can. All right, so now I've got the ground hooked up and I will hook the these two ground wires which are in the center of the black thing. So they're in between the yellow and green. So that's 24 hooked to the ground rail, and then 23 hooked to the ground rail. Let's see if I can do it. Yes, okay. Now the red, uh, yellow, sorry, orange, white, and blue. So I'll start with the white. You can see in the diagram, white is on eight. So I'll start with white on eight on that side, and then on this side, white is hooked up to pin 20. And that's the speed pin. It's uh, going to send the PWM signal. It gives the speed. And then the next one is blue, which is eh, pin 9 on this side. And that's the forward enable. Um, as you can see in the code right there. So eight is speed, nine is forward. And then in the diagram, nine goes to there. So the yellow side. So it's in between the yellow and the white pin or line 21. And then the orange goes on the last one here, which is pin 10 on the Arduino. And then over here, it goes on line 26, and it's going to enable or disable the green line, which is also the backwards. Um, and now we're gonna hook up this battery pack. This battery pack is gonna give power to the, this motor. So I'm gonna hook up the power on line 27 which is the last pin of this uh, side of the battery. I mean, the, the motor, motor controller. controller. And then the ground to ground. And then the very last thing here is this right here provides power to the logic of this thing. So this provides power for the motor for this thing, and then this provides power for the logic. So let's plug that in. That's on line 20 on this side. And then we'll go to the Arduino sketch on the computer by going to File, Sketchbook, D left motor, 
and that's this sketch. And then I will plug in the USB cable and I'll hit the upload button there. And once it's uploaded, then this doesn't do anything yet until I hit the on button and then this starts spinning. And this is the direction you want it to spin. If it's not spinning this way, then you should make sure that your wiring is correct. And a quick fix would be to swap where the green and yellow are plugged in if it's spinning the opposite way. Um, and if you make that switch, then it'll spin the, this way. And that's it.